Hello, dear students. This is your engineering mathematics three lecture. Today's topic is vector integral calculus. In vector integral calculus, line integral. The first topic is line integral. Now, this vector integral calculus is from the fifth unit. Now, the topic line integral. Any integral which is evaluated along a curve is called a line integral. Now, let f bar of x y z is equal to f one of x y z i cap. Plus f2 of xyz into j cap plus f3 of xyz into k cap be a continuous vector function defined at every point of a curve C in space. Line integral may be termed as integral of tangential component of f bar along C. C. What is the definition of line integral? Line integral which is evaluated along a curve is called a line integral. That f bar is equal to f1 i cap plus f2 j cap plus f3 k cap be a continuous vector function defined at every point of a curve c in space line integral may be termed as integral of tangential component of f bar along c if r bar is equal to xi cap plus yj cap plus zk cap if this is a position vector then dr bar is equal to uh, the derivative term of r bar is dr bar. It is equal to dx i cap plus dy j cap plus dz k cap. You remember this position vector r bar and then from r bar you can write dr bar. Therefore, the line integral formula is integration f bar dot dr bar f bar dot dr bar over curve c is equal to integration f1 dx plus f2 dy plus f3 dz over the curve c integration. Because f bar dot dr bar, this is a dot product. f bar, you know, f1 i cap plus f2 j cap plus f3 k cap. And dr bar is dx i cap plus dy j cap plus dz k cap. So the dot product of these two vectors is equal to f1 dx plus f2 dy plus f3 dz. Then you integrate it over the curve C. If, a para, if the parametric equation of the curve C are x is equal to x of t, y is equal to y of t, z is equal to z of t, and t is equal to t1 at one end and t is equal to t2 at the other end, and these are the limits, t is equal to t1, t2, then the line integral integration of bar dot dr bar over the curve C is equal to integration or t1 integration or t1, t2 of f1 dx f1 dx by dt plus f2 dy by dt plus f3 dz by dt bracket complete into dt. If c is a closed curve, then the line integral is denoted by integration or closed curve c f bar dot dr bar. So this is the formula of line integral, okay, when in parametric form. Because when x, y, z, these are uh, dependent on the para, they depend on the parameter. T. Then in that case, this is the formula for line integral. Now the physical interpretation of line integral or work done by the vector f bar. If f bar represents the force field, then f bar dot t cap represents a force acting along the tangent to the curve C. See, this is a curve A, B is a curve starting point is the curve and the starting point of curve is A and end point is B. Okay, f bar represent the force field, then f bar dot t cap represents a force acting along the tangent to the curve C. This, this is a tangent to the curve and that f bar dot t cap represents a force acting along the tangent to the curve. Under this force, the particle is displaced by distance say ds along C. Here T cap is, what is T cap? T cap is a unit tangent vector at point P. At point P, T cap is the unit tangent vector. F bar dot T cap represents a force acting along the tangent to the curve C. Yeah, okay. So therefore, F bar dot T cap, this is a complete force into the displacement done by the this force, F bar dot T cap is displacement uh, done by this force is ds. So it is equal to force into displacement. But we know that force into displacement is nothing but work done. So total work done in moving a particle along C, total work done moving a particle 
along C from A to B is given by work done is equal to integration over A to B F bar dot T cap into DS, which is nothing but integration over A to B F bar dot DR bar. So this is the formula of work done. Okay. Note in evaluation of line integrals, we have to express the line integral integration f bar dot dr bar or cross curves or the curve c in terms of one variable either x or y or z or t or theta and then integrate within corresponding limits so remember this note in evaluation of line integrals we have to express the line integral integration f bar dot dr bar or curve c in terms of one variable either x or y or z or t or theta and then you integrate within the corresponding limits this is important note while you finding the work done okay and so this is the concept of work done or the line integral when force is applied so there is a displacement along the curve and so force into displacement gives us the work done so the formula for work done is here integration over the curve c f bar dot dr bar this is the formula now the question example is here if f bar is equal to f bar is equal to x square i cap plus x minus y into j cap plus y plus z into k cap displaces a particle from the point A, starting point 1, 0, 1 to the end point B, 2, 1, 2, along the straight line AB, find the work done. Here, you know that position vector r bar, initially we have discussed what is r bar, x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap. So dr bar is dx i cap plus dy j cap plus dz k cap. Okay. So f bar dot dr bar, this dot product, because we are going to find the work done. So we need the term f bar dot dr bar. Now f bar is this given vector into dr bar is this vector. Then the dot product f bar dot dr bar is x square dx plus x in bracket x minus y bracket complete into dy plus y plus z into dz. You know how to find the dot product of two vectors in starting we have discussed in previous two, three lectures, we have discussed how to find the dot product of two vectors. Then the equation of line joining, the equation of line joining the point A to B is when two points on the line are given, then we can find the equation of line joining that two points. And the formula is here, x minus x1 upon x2 minus x1 is equal to y minus y1 upon y2 minus y1 is equal to z minus z1 upon z2 minus z1. This is the formula of equation of line joining two points. Now here, the coordinates x1, y1, z1 are here, 1, 0, 1. The coordinates of A are the coordinates x1, y1, z1. And the coordinates x2, y2, z2 are here, 2, 1, 2. Okay. Now you put here in this formula, x1, y1, z1 and x2, y2, z2. And so the equation will be x minus 1 upon 2 minus 1 is equal to y minus 0 upon 1 minus 0 is equal to z minus 1 upon 2 minus 1 is equal to t it is equal to suppose t and so x minus 1 is equal to t is equal to y is equal to y upon 1 is equal to z minus 1 upon 1 is equal to t and so x minus 1 is equal to t y is equal to t and z minus 1 is equal to t and so x is equal to 1 plus t y is equal to t and z is equal to 1 plus t so these are the values of x y z in terms of parameter t Therefore, dx, you differentiate x, so you will get dx, it is equal to dt. Differentiate y, you will get dy is equal to dt. Differentiate z, you will get dz is equal to dt. And here the limits are, how to find the limits? Now see the relation of parameter and x. x is equal to 1 plus t. So you see the x coordinates of point A and uh, x coordinates of point B. X coordinate of point A is 1 and x coordinate of point B is 2. So initially, when x is equal to 1, if you put x is equal to 1 in this relation, x is equal to 1 plus t, 1 is equal to 1 plus t and so t is equal to 0. So the limits are here, lower limit is t is equal to 0. Now what is the uh, end coordinate, the coordinate of point B, x coordinate of point B, it is 2. So put x is equal to 2 in this relation, 2 is equal to 1 plus t, and so t is equal to 1, because 2 minus 1 is 1, so t is equal to 1. So limits are here, uh, upper limit is here, 1. So t varies from 0 to 1. Now, 
you can put the lower limit of y and you can find the value of t also you can put upper limit of y and you can find the upper limit for t because you know the coordinates of y coordinates of y are initial coordinate is 0 at point a so put y is equal to 0 here you will get t is equal to 0 so you will get the same limit t is equal to 0 and the for point b the y coordinate is 1 so put y is equal to 1 so t is 1 so you will get t is equal to 0 to 1 you'll get the same limit t is equal to 0 to 1 either you put the values in this uh, relation of x or y or z you'll get the same limit 0 to 1 now use the formula work done is equal to integration f bar dot dr bar and limit 0 to 1 now you know the product f bar dot dr bar you know the product f bar dot dr bar and it is uh, calculated here f bar dot dr bar you put in this value x square dx plus x minus y dy plus y plus z dz and then you put there the value of x dx y dy z dz and so on. x square now what is x 1 plus t x square so 1 plus t whole square dx what is dx here dx is dt so put dt x minus y into dy what is x x is here 1 plus t y is here t so 1 plus t minus t into dy is dt plus y plus z y is here t z is 1 plus t put here the value of y plus z and what is the dz dz is dt so put here all the values f bar dot dr bar will be like this and then you simplify the term 1 plus t is whole square expansion is t square plus 2t plus 1 then 1 plus t minus t is 1 t plus 1 plus t means 2t plus 1 now simplify this bracket term it is t square plus 4t plus 3 dt and then integrate it over 0 to 1 integration of t square is t cube by 3 integration of t is t square by 2 and 3 constant integration of dt is t and the limit 0 to 1 upper limit is 1 so it is 1 by 3 plus 2 plus 3 minus lower limit is 0 minus 0 so it is uh, if we do the addition the value is 16 by 3 and so this is the work done by the course is your answer second example is here evaluate integration f bar dot dr bar or close curve c sorry not close over the curve c where f bar is the vector x square i cap plus x y j cap and c is the straight line y is equal to x joining 0 0 and 1 1 here this is a similar example here and the f bar is here x square i cap plus x y into j cap and y is equal to x this is the straight line so dy is equal to dx dy is equal to here the relation here the equation of straight line is already given y is equal to x so from uh, this relation we can replace uh, the f bar either in terms of x or y and x varies from 0 to 1 because the, the limits of x are 0 to 1 so f bar dot dr bar is equal to this is x square f bar dot dr bar you know f bar is the, this vector and you know what is dr bar dx i cap plus dy j cap plus dz k cap in previous example also we have discussed what is dr bar so dot product f bar dot dr bar will be here x square dx plus x y into dy okay now x square dx plus x y dy so we have given the equation of straight line y is equal to x so put y you replace all the terms of y by x in this f bar dot dr bar first term contains the terms of x so as it is plus x as it is y y is equal to x so put y is equal to x so x into x dy is also dx from this relation where the equation x square dx plus x square dx means twice x square dx and so integrate it integration f bar dot dr bar or c is equal to integration of 0 to 1 limits of x are 0 to 1 if we convert all the terms in terms of y then we will take the limits of y limits of y are also here 0 to 1 because the coordinates are here see 0 0 and 1 1 so y coordinate is 0 and for second point y coordinate is 1 so the limits of y are also here 0 to 1 so here x square dx plus x square dx 2 x square dx and 2 as it is integration of x square is x cube by 3 and so if we put the limit upper limit 1 then it is 1 by 3 1 by 3 into 2 is 2 by 3. Lower limit 0. So next term is 0. So the work done by work done or 
where line integral is equal to its value is 2 by 3. Okay, so this is the second example. Like this, you can uh, solve this third one also. Evaluate integration f bar dot dr bar or curve C, where f bar this vector z i cap plus x j cap plus y k cap and c is the arc of the curve r bar is equal to cos t i cap plus sin t j cap plus t to k cap from t is equal to 0 and t is equal to 2 pi. Means here the limits of t are given 0 to 2 pi and that r bar, r bar is a position vector. It is also in terms of the parameter t. So from r bar, you can, uh, you know, the position vector r bar is xi cap plus yj cap plus zk cap. So here we can say x is equal to cos t plus, sorry, cos t, y is equal to sin t and z is equal to t. And so dx is equal to derivative of cos t minus sin t into dt, y is equal to sin t, so dy is equal to cos t dt, z is equal to t, so dz is equal to dt. So f bar dot dr bar is equal to f bar dot dr bar, f bar is this vector dot dr bar, dr bar is dx i cap plus dz cap dy z, j cap plus dz k cap. So f bar dot dr bar is here z into dx plus x into dy plus y into dz. You know <clears throat> what is f bar? f bar is this given vector and dr bar, we have already discussed dr bar is dx i cap plus dy j cap plus dz k cap. And the dot product of these two vectors is here z dx plus x dy plus y dz because f bar is this particular vector here. And then you know the value of z. z is here t. So t, dx is equal to minus sin t dt. X is here cos t, so x is equal to dy is here cos t dt. And then y is here sin t, put here sin t, and dz is here dt, so put here. So f bar dot dr bar is in terms of t now. And then f bar dot dr bar is in terms of t, and the limits of t are 0 to 2 pi. So the integration f bar dot dr bar over c is equal to integration over 0 to 2 pi. You write down the term f bar dot dr bar here. Okay. And then you integrate it. So minus t sin t, it's integration using u into v rule. Minus t as it is. Derivative of uh, u into v rule. u is here t minus t and v is sin t. So integration of sin t is minus cos t. This minus t as it is. Minus, right in bracket, minus t derivative. It is minus 1. And the uh, integration of minus cos t minus sin as it is. Integration of cos t is sin t. And then the next term will be zero because minus one its derivative will be zero. U into V rule, general rule. We are discussing first lecture also, U into V rule. The limits are zero to two pi for this first term integration. Cos square t, cos square t, we can write it one plus cos two t by two, two dt and limits over zero to two pi. And then integration of sine t over zero to two pi. So upper limit two pi for first term. So minus minus plus two pi cos pi. 2 pi into cos 2 pi minus minus plus again minus sin is there in minus sin 2 pi lower limit is 0 so minus minus plus again minus sin for lower limit but t is 0 so first term 0 again t is equal to 0 sin 0 is 0 so when we put lower limit the terms are 0 here only uh, where non zero we have non zero terms for upper limit and this second term is here integration of 1 plus cos 2 t by 2. So 1 by 2 is constant. Integration of 1 dt is t minus cos 2t. Integration is sine 2t by 2. Okay. So here the sine is positive. This is not my minus here. Because integration of cos 2t is here. Okay. So it is t plus sine 2t by 2. That 1 by 2 is constant plus sine t integration is minus cos t. Sine t integration is minus cos t plus cos 2t integration is plus sine 2t by 2. And then we put the limits. That first term 2 pi into cos 2 pi. Cos 2 pi is 1. So 2 pi plus 1 by 2 as it is. T upper limit is 2 pi. 2 pi plus here again the sign will be positive 2 pi plus sign 40 upon 2 minus lower limit 0. So if we put t is equal to 0, both the terms are 0. So after putting lower limit, the term is 0 plus minus cos t uh, limit 0 to 2 pi. So minus cos 2 pi plus minus lower when we put lower limit minus minus plus cos 0. And so if we simplify it is 2 pi plus half in bracket 2 pi 
only sin 40 is 0. So middle term 0, last term already 0. So it is 1 by 2 into 2 pi plus in bracket minus cos 2 pi. Cos 2 pi is 1, so minus 1 plus cos 0 is 1. So minus 1 plus 1 is 0. So this last term is also 0. And so it is equal to 2 pi plus 1 by 2 into 2 pi means pi. So 2 pi plus pi, 3 pi. And so this is the answer for the third example. This is the work done. Okay. And here the topic line integral is over here. Thank you.